Hello guys, uh, this is Doombreaker again and I'm here with another tutorial for you guys. Today we are going to learn how to uh, save and read text files um, with Visual Basic. So this is a basic program that can save files and load files. So um, let's say um, hello. I am Doombreaker and if I save this the file already exists so I have to change this to um, welcome and if I save it the file is saved now if I clear this and I load this text hello I am Doombreaker if I go to test as you can see, this is a list of fruit that I'm going to use in uh, the uh, tutorial on how to save a list box, which is also going to be in this video. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Now, the code. So, what we are going to use is uh, stream writers and stream readers here. So, um, if system.io.file.exists, and then the path of the file, which is text box one. Uh, then uh, show a message box that the file already exists. If not, you can um, say declare or dim object writer as new system.io.stream writer uh, to the path, which is here. Um, object writer dot write whatever is in text box 2 so this is your uh, text file object writer dot close and then just make this label visible because uh, the file is saved then then I start the timer because I want the label to be visible for I don't know five seconds uh, so yeah you don't have to do that and to read the file we just say if io uh, no system.io.file.exists textbox1.text is equal to true then declare object reader as a system.io.stream reader as text file uh, textbox1.text which is the path again textbox2.text which is here is going to be whatever is a uh, read it in your uh, stream reader so whatever is in your text file is going to be read and um, then the object reader is going to close if the file doesn't exist then it's just going to show a message box saying that the file does not exist so that's pretty basic um, you don't have to in the stream writer you don't have to put this because if you put this uh, you can just overwrite that uh, text file so yeah and if I go to my C drive now I see a file named welcome hello I am Doombreaker so yeah uh, now to the second tutorial how to save a list box so let's debug that and let's use other no let's use vegetables here so cabbage carrot and lettuce and what do we have more um Brussels sprouts click save now it is saved and if I go to my C drive and I go to test cabbage carrot lettuce Brussels sprouts so yeah and how do we do this so this is the basic code to add items to your list box then on the save button we say declare i as an integer 
w is our stream writer so new io dot stream writer and write to c dot uh, c drive and the file test dot txt so um, as I said before this is just going to overwrite the existing file then 4i is equal to 0 to uh, listbox one dot items dot count minus one so the minus one is very important that's just uh, because a computer doesn't count like we do it uh, it counts the zero two and uh, we wouldn't do that but anyway so uh, w dot right line list box one dot items dot item and then i then next so what this is going to do is it's going to count from zero to the amount of items that is in your text box and it's going to give i that value and every time it does that it's going to save the item that is um, in the list box with the value of i which is going to change so every item is going to be saved and then we can just say uh, the w dot close so our writer is going to close you always need to close that close that because uh, then if you don't do that uh, stuff can happen so uh, that was the tutorial guys I hope you enjoyed if you like my video please like it below um, if you like design programming and gaming please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned bye